Hi there folks and welcome to the What Solutions for this week's The Daily Rigger issue number 168. So in our environment story this week, the Amazon rainforest is on fire and it's the most intense blazes for almost a decade. Um, and as you can see from the article here, the Amazon rainforest is critical um, to the environment and indeed the um, prevention of global warming because it produces 20% of the world's oxygen because of all the trees in this um, packed with trees in this um, this particular space but anyway we have to write the figure 20% as a fraction in its simplest form so 20% means 20 out of 100 but of course we can simplify this fraction by dividing top and bottom by well we can do 2, we can do 5, we can do 10 but the biggest number we can divide top and bottom by here is 20 so we can do 20 divided by 20 which is 1 and 100 divided by 20 which is 5 so the answer we're looking for is a fifth so a fifth of the world's oxygen is produced um, by the Amazon rainforest so hopefully they get those fires under control so anyway on to our second story, entertainment so The Rock may be the busiest man in show business but he managed to um, fit in a secret wedding to his extreme, extremely busy schedule. So he's got his um, next big, biggest blockbuster, Jumanji, the next level. And that's going to be coming out in 110 days from the date of this newspaper. So what date will Jumanji, the next level, hit our cinemas? So I wonder what your strategy was here. Well, you can see that because August has got 31 days, that means there's six days left in August. So we've got 30 days in September. We've got 31 days in October and 30 days in November. Now, if you add all that up, that's going to get us close to 110, I think. So if we add all this up, we get 97. So obviously, it's going to be at some point in December, this film. So to figure that out, we can take 97 away from 110 to get 13. So that means the film comes out 13 days into December. So that's going to be the date right there. So we look forward to watching that one. Okay, so on to, well, technically another entertainment story. Um, this is the results of the best one-liner um, at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. And the fourth best um, had a wee bit of numeracy in it. So a cowboy asked me if I could help him round up 18 cows. I said, yes, of course, that's 20 cows. And I'll be honest with you, when I heard that joke the first time, I did actually laugh, and I think it should have won. So can we explain why this joke is really funny? Well, of course, if you round up... Um, that would take you up to 20, presuming it was the nearest 10. But anyway, we've got a wee numeracy task that follows. So round 12 chickens to the nearest 10. So it's not asking us to round up, it's just asking us to round to the nearest 10. So is this number closer to 10 or 20? Well, of course, it's closer to 10. So we have to round um, 345 sheep to the nearest 100. So 345, is it closer to 300 or 400? Well, because the tens is a 4, it's less than 5, so we say it's closer to 300. And then in D, we've to round 6,789 cows to the nearest 1,000. So is it closer to 6,000 or 7,000? Well, because the hundreds is a 7, it's 5 or more. So we round up and we say that's closer to 7,000. So anyway, on to our last story. So they've done the first dive down to the Titanic in nearly 15 years. And they say that the ship is actually deteriorating rapidly and that it's actually not going to be there for not too long. So they plunged 3,800 metres below sea level. So how many kilometres is this? What well, tells us there's 1,000 metres in every kilometre. So to calculate um, the number of kilometres, when you know the number of metres, you multiply by 1,000. So if we're going backwards, if we're given the number of metres, and we have to say how many kilometres it was, we've got to divide by a 1,000. You didn't necessarily need a calculator for this. Drop everything down three place values, 3.8 kilometres. Now, I ran three kilometres at the gym tonight, and the thought of travelling 3.8 kilometres down to the depths of the North Atlantic Ocean terrifies me about these brave people. Anyway, how many miles is this? So there's 1.6 kilometres in every mile. So if you've got miles to change them into kilometres, you multiply by 1.6. So if you've got the kilometres and you're changing back into miles, you're going to divide by 1.6. And that's going to give us an answer of 2.375 miles down below the surface of the water. So it made some quite interesting, interesting discoveries as well. And I thoroughly recommend you have a wee Google and read about their expedition. But anyway, folks, there you have it. Our work solutions for this week. 
Hope you enjoyed solving the problems. Stay tuned for next week's edition when we're going to be looking at more stories from the news of the week and the numbers behind them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.